Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Elizabeth and Seton as we celebrate the sacrament of marriage between Jose and Sarai. If you would, please take a moment and check your cell phones to make sure they are silenced. If you didn't receive one already, worship aids are available, which include all of today's music as well as the responses for the Mass. Also, um, I'd like to ask, uh, this is sort of a special request of the bride and groom, uh, that while they are coming down the aisle, that you not uh, hold your phones up and, and that you just enjoy the moment with them. Uh, we appreciate that very much. Thank you. And our presider today is Father Jim. Please rise. <laughs> Anyway. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Jose and Sarai, the church shares your joy and war warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today in the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership in the sacrament of matrimony. May the Lord hear you on this, your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. And together we now sing the hymn of the angels. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Sarai and Jose, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Would you please be seated for our readings from sacred scripture. Lectura del libro de los proverbios. Dichoso el hombre que encuentra una mujer hacendosa. Muy superior a las perlas es su valor. Su marido confía en ella y con su ayuda él se enriquecerá. Todos los días de su vida le procurará bienes y no males. Adquiere lana y lino y los trabaja con sus hábiles manos. Sabe manejar la rueca y con sus dedos mueve el uso. Abre sus manos al pobre y las tiende al desvalido. Son engañosos los encantos y van a la hermosura. Merece alabanza la mujer que teme al Señor. 
es digna de gozar del fruto de sus trabajos y de ser alabada por todos. Palabra de Dios. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over to us. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands, should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, 
A man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Would you please be seated? It's no secret that we come here today to celebrate love. We are reminded that God is love. In the first letter of St. John, chapter four, verse 16, he says, God is love. And those who live in love live in God and God in them. And so we, as followers of the Lord, are called to live on in that love. God's love for each one of us is unconditional, without conditions. God created us and God loves us the way we are. And it's us who are created in the image and likeness of God than to let his love shine through our lives. Can you imagine what the world would be like if every one of God's creatures lived in this way? It certainly would be a different place. It was a different place at the beginning of creation when everything and everyone was in perfect harmony. Until that time that that original sin entered the world where humanity knew better than God. And then all this other stuff kinda, kinda came in place. But in the marriage covenant then, we are given reminders of the original innocence. We're given reminders of what paradise was like. 
when we see a man and woman come together in this sacred bond, coming now and pledging their love for each other, which is a response to God working in their life. And now we see the married couple who lives in the love of the Lord is really the most perfect example that we have, or icon, if you will, or image of how much God loves all of us. When we see man and woman come together in their unconditional love for each other, in their fidelity to each other, in their caring and sharing their love for each other, in bringing forth new life out of love, we see then how much the Lord loves us through their example. For in the church, we have two sacraments of service in the church, marriage and holy orders. And I will go to my dying day saying that the most demanding of those two vocations is marriage. To come together and to pledge love exclusively to one other person for the rest of your life can only happen if the heart is open to the Lord. For what we're witnessing today is God's movement. How God has moved the hearts of Hosea and Sarai to come together and to now let that love be solidified in the sacrament of matrimony. As we heard at the end of that second reading, about, for this is a reason a man shall leave his father and mother, be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. When Jose and Sarai came down the aisle separately, and they leave here a new creation, they leave here now joined together as one, as a new unit of faith, as a new image for each one of us, to see God in action. And this great gift that God gives you in this sacrament is a gift that has to keep on giving. I think that's a slogan for something, right? The gift that keeps on giving. And that's what marriage is because this marriage is a covenant now in love with the Lord. So in essence, yes, the two shall become one flesh, a new unit. But each of you bring your total being to this relationship. Jose doesn't bring 50% of his and, and Sarai 50% of her life to make the 100%. No, they both bring their total being to this. And in essence, now in the sacrament, that God joins them together. God is the glue. So I would say that the two if I could one-up scripture, I would say the two shall become three because you bring your whole selves to this relationship and today with the sealing of the Lord as a part of your love together is the secret that is necessary for your continued love as being disciples of the Lord. For what God has given you today is the gift that has to keep on giving. This is not just about the two of you come together and sharing your love and living happily ever after, but it's about letting the Lord in your life and letting him continue to live in your life. Your marriage will be fruitful if you continue to make sure that God is the priority in your life, that the one who brought you together, the one who seals this covenant today is the one who accompanies you the rest of your life. And so as Jesus said in the gospel, he says, as the Father loves me, so I love you. And the secret to your marriage is when Jesus said, remain in my love. Remain connected with the God who called you together. Because if you remain connected with him, it's not gonna make life easy. But it's going to be it's going to make it bearable and definitely worth it as you know when you pronounce your vows together you you don't pronounce your vows staying together just in the good times and the happy times but in the down times as well the sicknesses that may come 
that you remain loyal to, to each other in all aspects of life. And then the gift of love that, that God brings to fruition today in this sacrament, that gift must be shared. As for all of us baptized in the Lord, we are baptized to do something with that call from God. You are married today to do something with this marriage, and that is to let his love shine through you and make sure that others experience the love of God through your love for each other. As you bring forth children, and as you let the love of God live through your life so that others can experience God's love through you, then your marriage covenant has purpose. It's not just for you. This marriage is for you to share with others. And that's why we're gathered here today, to thank God for the gift of his love, because this is your vocation. Out of all the people in the entire universe, you believe that God has called the two of you together now to live in that love and let that love shine through your lives. It's an awesome responsibility and a great privilege to be called to the sacrament of matrimony. And not only to be called to the sacrament, but then to let it live through your lives so that you can reflect that love in all that you say and do as you leave this place as Mr. and Mrs., as you leave this place and let the love that God shares with you today, that love that's, that is the bond of connection between you, to make sure that that love continues to move forward so that the world can hopefully be a better place through your witness. We thank you for letting the Lord live through your lives to bring you to this moment. Continue to let him live in your life and God will do great things through you, for you, and for the rest of us. So Jose and Sarai, you have a lifetime of love ahead of you. I suggest we get busy. My brothers and sisters, please rise. Jose and Sarai, you have come together in the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister in the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through his special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he's already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Jose and Sarai, have you come here into, to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for, for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Jose, take you, Sarai, to be my wife. I, Jose, take you, Sarai, to be my wife. 
I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Sarai, take you, Jose, to be my husband. I, Sarai, take you, Jose, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. May the Lord bless these rings which you will give to each other as the sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Jose, if you'll take Sarai's ring and repeat after me. Sarai, receive this ring. Sarai, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sarai, take Jose's ring. Jose, receive this ring. Jose, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and, and of the, the Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jose, you may now kiss your wife, Sarai. And now with the Aras. Bless, O oh Lord, these Aras that Jose and Sarai will give to each other and pour over them the abundance of your good gifts. Sarai, receive these Aras. Sarai, receive these Aras. As a pledge of, my, of God's blessing. God's and a sign of the good gifts we will share. And the signs of the good gifts we'll share. Okay. Jose, receive these aras. Jose, receive these aras. As a pledge of God's blessing. As a pledge of God's blessing. And a sign of the good gifts we will share. And the sign of the good gifts we will share. My dear brothers and sisters, let us accompany this new family with our prayers that the mutual love of Jose and Sarai may grow daily and that God in his kindness will sustain all families throughout the world. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians everywhere, that the world may see our love for one another and come to believe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations, that there may be an end to the violence that divides us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are marginalized or forgotten by our society, and for all to love and pray for them, 
that God will use us to raise them up. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are part of our lives, our parents, friends, and companions along the way, and for all who have helped to bring us to this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Jose and Sarai, that the love they pledge to each other today may bring light and joy into their lives and the lives of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our beloved dead, especially for the deceased members of Jose and Sarai's families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, who are present in our midst, <clears throat> as Sarai and Jose seal their union, accept our prayer and fill us with your spirit, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Won't you please be seated? Would you please rise? Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origins, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that the human race, created by the gift of your goodness, should be raised to such high dignity that in the union of husband and wife, you might bestow a true image of your love. For those you created out of charity, you call to the law of charity without ceasing and grant them a share in your eternal charity. And so the sacrament of holy matrimony as the abiding sign of your own love consecrates the love of man and woman through Christ our Lord. Through him with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 
Would you please kneel or be seated? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Be mindful also, Lord, of Jose and Sarai, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Would you please stand? At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now we have the placing of the lasso.
And bless, O oh Lord, this lasso, a symbol of the indissoluble union that Jose and Sarai have established from this day forward before you and with your help. And let us now humbly invoke by our prayers, dear brothers and sisters, God's blessing upon Sarai and Jose, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. And I ask you all to please join me in this blessing by extending one of your hands in blessing toward Jose and Sarai. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image and willed that their union be crowned with your blessing. We humbly beseech you for these, your servants, who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Sarai, and upon Jose, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the holy assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of family and friends that surrounds them, May they come to the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Amen. Would you please kneel or be seated? For the reception of Holy Communion, please follow the directions of our hospitality ministers. If you are wearing gloves, please remove them at this time. We also remind everyone to please keep your mask on until after you say amen. Then please, please immediately move to the red mark on the floor. And at that spot, please remove your mask Consume the Holy Eucharist, replace your mask, and immediately move back to your place. Please remember to maintain the required six feet social distancing guidelines at all times. Out of sincere respect and concern for everyone's health and safety, we ask that the Holy Eucharist be received in the hand. And for the reception of Holy Communion, we invite you to come forward then following the ministers. And for those who may not wish to receive communion today, or for those who may not be of our Catholic faith, we invite you to please come forward and share a blessing of fellowship with us. Please indicate that pre preference by crossing your arms in this fashion, and we will share that blessing with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand and pray. Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. There will be no receiving line here at the church, so our, our couple and their marriage uh, wedding party and families can begin taking pictures after Mass. 
But at this time, uh, they would like to uh, uh, present uh, some flowers to our Blessed Mother. Um, sometimes we as Catholics get a, a, a bad rap for our honoring of our statues and stuff. You know, some people of none of our Catholic faith think that we worship them. But uh, I like to call our religious imagery in the church kind of our Catholic photo album. They are images of those who have been followers of the Lord and good disciples and good role models for us. And the first among them to stand before us is, is our Blessed Mother, Mary, whose yes allowed Jesus to become our brother. And so as a sign of their uh, continued um, uh, hope for their future in their life, they now ask Our Lady to continue to help, help them on their merry journey together uh, as they now begin this new life. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Please bow your heads for the blessing. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you in your children. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My brothers and sisters, it is my joy and my privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jose and Sarai Solano. <laughs> 